What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing out there today? Uh, Mount Vernon Kid here again, back for the usual stick, you know, the opinion spot. Welcome again, welcome. Hope everybody is well on their end. So, what's on the topic for today? Well, mainly this topic, guys, is dedicated and goes out to all my comic heads out there, all my fellow comic geeks and uh, freaks and uh, of the comic nation. And I'm here to talk about the next uh, event coming up soon. And a friend of mine, uh, many probably know, Antonis. Antonetti's seven probably uh, touched on it as well. You know, much respect to him as well. Um, so what am I here to talk about, basically? How many of you out there are have said, okay, enough with the dark rain. Enough with dark rain. You know, and if I would take a guess, I bet majority of my listeners here would probably raise their hand and say, "Yo, kid, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done with it." I'm. How many of you would say the heroes are not being the heroes? They're, they're hiding. They're not putting up the good fight. They're not stopping the bad guys. It's more like the opposite now. And I guarantee you again, many of you will probably raise your hand and say he's right. But what if I told you that in 2010, Marvel is going to put an end to Dark Reign? What if I told you that this big event? Of the dark rain will end and a new event a new four-part event will come up known as siege would you think I was lying to you or would you think I was telling the truth what if I told you that this event will bring together Captain America Iron Man and Thor three characters that haven't been together for over a decade what would you say about that but that's what this is about people siege the next event that is supposed to put a stamp on dark rain it's supposed to change as well everybody in the Marvel Universe so far what we know is of course Mike Brian Michael Bendis will be writing it And it's going to be, the story goes, Norman, as usual, as I said before, and I've said it, that he gets power hungry, gets to believe in he's unstoppable. And, and in this event, because of that, it brings together not just New Avengers and all the other Young Avengers, but the classic Avengers in terms Steve, Tony and Thor and they put their egos aside because first and foremost Steve and and Thor are tight no question about that but it's more about Tony and Thor and it makes you wonder what could Norman Osborn do that is so crucial that would get those two back together Thor made it clear that he never wanted he will not work with Tony ever again. So they put their egos and issues aside to do this. Uh, it 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 seems like that our voices are so kind of been heard. Like enough is enough. Because I've heard it plenty of times from everybody here, outside YouTube and on YouTube. I'm getting tired of Dark Rain kid what's your what's your opinion on dark rain and I made it plain and simple the heroes are not being the heroes and to touch on what brought forward this let's look at the past events before siege okay let's start off with uh, Nick Fury's secret war now for anybody who's read that seven part I believe seven part series 
Nick Fury took the likes of Daredevil, Spider-Man, Cap, Wolverine, Luke Cage, Black Widow into Latveria basically as a special op, basically overthrow Latveria, basically. Okay, that was his little secret war, and so on and so forth. And it built up from there. It went from what? Uh, Exile of the Hulk to d d even the road of uh, Civil War. And am I? And I'm not the only one that believes that 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 Civil War was decent, but. In my eyes, why'd you use the New Warriors as the martyrs? Why? I loved the New Warriors. Night Thrasher, Speedball, Nova, when they were together, Name Arena, when they were together in the 90s, they were a decent, well oiled team. And then you made them into a joke and killed them off. And then you brought a new, the newer New Avengers, New, New Warriors. But I, I summed it up pretty simple what Civil War, it's easier to blame the heroes than the villains. And then leads into what, Secret Invasion? And now we're in Dark Reigns. And, and in my eyes guys, it's, it's time to end Dark Reign. Okay? The Avengers are not the Avengers anymore. The heroes are not the heroes anymore. Uh, many of my favorite heroes are not acting like heroes anymore. They're they're cowering in the shadows just to stay out of the public eye of Norman Osborn, who is by far one of the most craziest. This guy is off his rockers. Am I right or am I wrong? And it it also proves to me, Dark Rain is how easily. The people of the Marvel Universe can be swayed to they can actually trust this lunatic even though his identity of who he was has been publicized. Everybody knows he's been Goblin but it seems like they don't care. He saved the world and they blame Tony for the whole incident. In some eyes I said you know what this serves Tony right in some eyes. Now he gets to feel what it feels like to be on the run like all the other heroes that didn't register but then you start to feel sorry for Tony and like it's time for him to get back on his pedestal Thor being exiled from Asgard what's up with that he's the man that brought it back now he's exiled from it what's up with that Steve's coming back thank God and I'm happy for that Though I give much love and respect to Bucky for doing his job and living up to that, that hard legacy. But for all out there who are Cap fans, we all want Steve back. And we're going to get him back. But this siege is coming. And it's coming fast. And hopefully it will end well. Hopefully it will do good. I'm not saying it's going to be the best limited series in comic book history. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying I hope it's good. Um, I hope it has a good story. And in my eyes, I hope Norman gets what's coming to him. Because, frankly, I never really... I love him as a Spider-Man villain, but I've never seen Norman as a real big threat player like Dr. Doom or or Loki or somebody like that so we're gonna find out people what Siege is all about we're gonna find out what happens we're gonna see Thor Iron Man and Steve get back together this also will change the Avengers titles as well as the rosters as well we're going to see some things change. Is change good? Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's not. But in this eyes, in my eyes people, in my opinion, this is good. 
So, other than that, guys, you know, I just wanted to touch on Siege, Marvel Siege, the new event coming soon to kick off 2010. Um, give respect and love to everybody out there that's listening, all my friends and subscribers. Uh, tell me what you think, as always. As always, it's Mom Vernon Kid saying, keep it real, stay tuned, one love, I'm out.